Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support rep here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to touch base on the uh, ski and roof rack assembly for our full-size L322. And this will fit the years from 03 all the way up to 09. And what it is is a combination of the crossbar setup and the roof rack adapters for the skis uh, made by Thule. And we actually carry it under a complete kit. It gives you everything that you need um, under the part number T480HSESKI. So what we're going to do essentially is we're going to show you a little easier way to install it. It's a quick fit system that can be taken off easily when it's done with. Um, it even comes with labels so that when you go to reinstall it, everything shows you exactly where you need to be and everything's already pre-measured. So let's show you how to go about it. All right, so just so if, you, if you're looking into the instructions or reading through them, you're going to notice our procedure varies a little bit. Um, I found some ways that I felt was a little bit easier and right off the bat you have these basically these pads that are to be installed on the bottom of the feet for both sides of the crossbar and you'll see how that matches the pattern and I found it would seem to be easier if you hook on the front essentially there's just a little lip all the way around this rubber pad that grabs around the base of the foot so you want to you'll push in so that you'll actually feel it roll over the edge and click in. You just work your way all the way around and keep doing that. And when you look at it, you'll see, or should see, basically a nice clean line between the rubber and the foot that you attached it to. So you know it's nice and flat. And then we'll do the same to the other side. So next is going to be installing the feet onto the crossbar. Now you notice the crossbar is rectangular, not square. So to install the foot on there, there is a lever in the back that we're going to use and it will release and allow that to move around some. And that will essentially just slide right over the top of this. And it takes a little fussing around because the end of the rubber and the coating that they have on the crossbar sticks up a little bit. And we'll just slide that on and leave a couple inches on each end because that's going to get you fairly close to where you need to be when you mount it on the roof. That one up, and then we'll slide this on. Now, in the instructions, they give you specific measurements from the inside, and actually, you should measure across from edge to edge. And even that, I found to be a little bit off. So, what we essentially are going to do is we're going to set this up on the roof, set our distance on our pads, and lock them down immediately, and then from there. We can install the the grips that will lock this onto the top of the top of the roof. All right. So by leaving a couple inches old, hanging over on each end, we came actually very close. Once we set it up on the roof, we're just going to sort of center the bar. We'll go back and forth a couple times if you need to slide this up and down to even it up. Essentially, though, what you should have ideally is on both sides this little curl to the bottom of the rubber pad we installed should just conform right with the body of the vehicle. So we know we got a nice firm footing. So once you've done that, reach in the back and you have your lever that you pulled up and you're gonna click that down. And that's gonna lock the foot to the crossbar. Do the same to the other side. All right, and now that we have the levers locked down, we're gonna pull up the face plate in the front. And then you'll see here, this is what that attaching leg that's gonna wrap around the edge of the door here. And then we're gonna lock that down. Now they tell you in the instructions to back this off until you're almost to the point where it stops turning which will be full loosening well you really don't need to go that far now i'm going to show you too on this little tool on this tool you have on the green part a line through the center on the gray part you have a little indicator notch just above that in the instructions and they tell you how to do this when we go to tighten everything down you're going to turn this until this green arrow actually turns to the point that that center line lines up with the indicator on the gray section. Essentially, a torque wrench. So this is going to tell you exactly how much to tighten that down. So what we'll do now is we've backed this off a little bit. We're going to raise that up and sneak this up inside. And then clip that around the body. And you may need to, like in this case, we're going to open the door so that we get that seated. When we close the door, it's going to hold that in place. So, we have that. 
Now, being we're just doing the one side, when you start, you're just going to turn this until it just starts to give you some resistance. And that will give us some play. And now you get two of these little tools with this kit. So I've got the second one in my pocket. Now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to tighten that down. All right, so we'll do the same to this. We're going to back this off. Now you probably noted, or you might even be thinking, where am I going to put the uh, crossbar? What I've done is, you can see it sort of lines up and centers with the top of the little vent window on the back of the rear door. And then you'll see the front, which is already mounted, just the head of the upright of the front door. So this way that eliminates all that measuring and whatnot. So, remember on the other side we've got locked down. So now we can slide this in. Let's make sure we got a nice even grip all the way around with the pad sitting just where it needs to be on the body. We lock down the back. And then we can lift up. Slide that in. And again, open up the door. And we just need to back that off a little bit more. Look at that. Drops right in. Close the door to hold it. And now this side, because we've got the other side snug, we can torque this one in. And then we're going to go back around to the other side to finish it off. So we'll turn this. You can see how the green part actually sweeps over a little bit. And you've got an indicator on both sides. So it should, no matter at what point, you can always see it. And you'll feel it get pretty tight. And just about there we're lined up. So we'll pull that out and then we'll go around to the other side, do the exact same thing. And then essentially at that point our crossbars are set up. So now we can put on our ski holders. So now we're ready for the ski holders. Now you'll see you got a whole bunch of different adapters on this. The reason for that is that these can be purchased separately and they can be used with some of the other styles that Thule makes as far as the crossbars like the Aeroblade and the, the, other, the other models that they're currently making. So this way if you already have Thule crossbars for another accessory or whatnot, these can be adapted to work with those. So because we're working with the rectangular bar, the square bar, we're going to be installing these four adapters. There's two that goes onto each cross piece, and this is how they're going to mount on there. Now to install them, you have to actually remove or lift off this bottom rubber piece. All right. Now there is a high area and a low area, and I recommend you try to peel this off of the high area because the, the lower side actually has a deeper groove in it that holds it in place. Instructions tell you to take it right off, but you really don't need to. You can get your fingers underneath there. And I found if you spray a little dry silicone spray on there, this all becomes a lot easier to do. Now you see once I left it, and the reason for that is it exposes the holes that you're going to need to mount these adapters. And that is essentially just going to go like that with the stud up. And then you have these lock tabs. And this has a nut on the end that swivels. So we'll swivel that in place. And we want to screw that right on and lock it. Just basically snug it, tighten it right down. And again, because you, because you have a metal nut in a plastic housing, really don't want to go crazy with the torque so you're essentially going to spin this in until it's good and snug you want to try to keep this foot that you're attaching to the cross piece as perpendicular 90 degrees as possible if you're a little off don't worry about it it'll work just fine so we're going to spin that in until we feel it gets snug Try to go at least a full half turn. There we go. And then this way that will lay down there. And then we'll do the same. And you can essentially mount, you'll see these, these are the screws that you're going to turn that tighten this strap that grabs around the bar. And you can face them to the front or the back, wherever it's easiest for you to get at it. Now it's a little tighter back here, but you can actually hold the crossbar up, hold the rubber back, 
And then same thing, we'll start this nut and run it down until we tighten it. Okay, so now we have the bases in. Now, I found that with the silicone, you can pop this piece right back in. It pops in there real nice. And then the silicone will eventually dry. Or you can simply wipe it when you're done. But there you go, it pops right in. So now your piece is assembled. Now I want to touch base on one thing. And they'll show you in the instructions. When you wrap this strap around in place, there's a keyway right here. And it's, you'll see that it's an open keyway. Now, the reason for this is once you have these mounted, you can install the keyway on this, which is set up just like this. You're going to get four tumblers. They're all keyed alike, same numbers. And they simply install. You'll turn it until it pops in. All right, so to install, first off, like I said, the uh, knobs that we tighten on the feet for this uh, ski mount, we want to make sure we have access to it. And then, of course, your release so you can get your skis in and out. You obviously want on the outside of the vehicle. So we'll just set that there. That'll pop up. And the reason I did it this way is it's a lot easier for me to reach it right here. And then we can just slide that down. And we'll click this as well there. And now we just a matter of making sure that we got a nice flat made here and then we'll turn these gray knobs in until we're good and tight. Just something I want to make note of, in this kit you get a little sticker that notes uh, front left, front right, right rear, left rear, and this is for installing on the rack after you've done all your measuring and you put your thing on there you actually have a little spot right there and you can put the location on and the reason for that is because you have this all measured out that once you uh, if you do decide for the to install the key you still have the tool to remove these just will pop off you can just back off on the adjustments they come off when you go to use it the next time you just basically you already know what locations it goes into. You lock it down. You're done. You don't have to go through the whole reinstallation process. So just something I wanted to make note of. All right. So last but not least, you've got. You can see you still have a key insert on this, and you can use the same keys that we have for the lowers. There's a little plug right here. You can pop out and insert the keyway in there, so you can set this all up as locking all on based on one key number. So. The other aspect is you're going to set your, push that and lift, you put your key in, your, your ski in place. Of course, obviously we have to put another one, the other one on the back bar, we'll assemble that. And then lay your skis in, and then that'll just click in and hold them in place. Now that's a, this way you got a good double lock on here and it's going to hold them good and firm. And again, you can put the keyway in there, and then also in your kit for the crossbars, you'll have little plastic caps, you're going to insert them on both ends. And that's going to add to a little bit of more weatherproofing. So um, that's basically all it is to it. This is a good setup for your skis. It's good. It's a nice tight fit. It uh, is designed to fit your L322 right from 03 all the way up to 09. All right. So when you're ready to do so, you can call any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210. Or you can click on this link and you can order this part of uh, directly online. Or if you like our video and would like to see more, you can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to that. So, we uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we're over on.